I'll tell you what I think is number one. And, and it, for me, he deserves it. And I followed him since I worked against him when I was in Ricky Burns' corner. Terence Crawford. I think he's a great fighter. I think he's an exciting fighter, which I think is part of, for me, you can't just be the best man. You've got to be, you've got to be entertaining. You've got, you know, you have fans wanting to watch you. And when, when they're watching, they've got to be entertained. I think Terence Crawford, his style of fighting is fantastic. I think he's a great fighter. He, he, you know, he's a unified champion. Um, so for me, Terence Crawford is number one. Cl it's, it's very, very close this. Um, closely followed by <laughs> I would have to go with Lomachenko. Um, I think Lomachenko is a fantastic fighter, fantastic technician. He's got such a brain in there. Um, and in the handful of fights that he's had, look at the success he's had. You know? So I would, I would perhaps go with Lomachenko on number two. <sighs> he's not the most fashionable fighter. Um, he's not had the big fights that, that his talent deserves, but that's because of his talent. And now we're going to see because he's fighting my number two. I would say Riga, number three. Riga on down. I think ability wise, he's been there at the top for such a long time. It's just that his career's kind of like been wasted. And we're never actually going to have seen the best of Riga on down because he's never been in, involved in the big super fights. Um, so, yeah. Perhaps, perhaps Rigo number three. It's either Rigo Golovkin, Golovkin number four. Um, I thought he'd beat Canelo. Um, he's, he's another one that's underrated with his boxing skills. He's a banger. He, he, can, he just goes in there and fights. He wants to take you out. But he does things in a, you know, forget about the fight where, when, he had, when he fought Kel Brook. He had no respect for Kel's power. He just walked in there like a club fighter and just wanted to grind him down. Um, you saw he was back to his smarts when he fought um, Canelo because he was making Canelo fall short. They were both, defensively, Bolton did a lot of good stuff in there, but I just thought that, that Golovkin outworked him. And again, Golovkin's a man that's been, you know, until that point, he's been on a, on a knockout streak, um, obviously beating da Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs, for me, is a very, very good fighter, a very, very good um, middleweight out there, um, one of the top fighters out there. Um, but he beat Jacobs. Again, it was a fight that could have gone either way. But I just think, I think Golovkin deserves to be in, because he's, you know, what he's been doing over the years. Uh, I think he deserves to be in that, in that top five for me. Number five. I would perhaps say, I would perhaps say Canelo. I would say Canelo, because again, he's, you know, and, and, from a young age, I mean, uh, again, you know, two of the top five pound for pounds I've actually gone up against with, you know, um, I had Ryan Rhodes fight Canelo when he was younger for the WBC uh, world title out in Mexico. So I got to see him up close. And it's funny, you watch these fighters on television and they look good and you think, he's good. But it's the subtle things that you don't notice until you're in up close and you're studying them that much when you're in an opposite corner and you're watching every little thing that they do how they're nullifying what your man's doing um, effortlessly. Um, and yeah, it's the little, little things that they do. And that's when I really appreciated how good Canelo was. Because I knew it was good, but then you just see what he was doing, you think, wow, he's a different level. And then to watch him progress, you know, he turned into a very, very good fighter, a great fighter. Um, and I think against Golovkin, the only thing that let him down, I thought he was better on the night. I thought his defense was great, everything was great. But the only thing that let him down for me was his work rate. And I think that's why, you know, I had, I had Golovkin winning the fight. Um, so yeah, Canelo, number five. But those two can swap round. In fact, the, the, the three for me, Rigo, um, Canelo and Golovkin, it could be in either order for me. But for me, number one has got to be Terence Crawford right now.